Hey everybody, Pastor Lewis here. I was just giving you a little inside shot of the fruits of my hen's labors as I'm out doing my afternoon farm chores. And as I was doing these chores, I thought to myself, boy, you know, working on the farm, or what we call our farm out here, we have chickens and rabbits, is a lot like this pandemic right now. Farm chores have a certain drudgery to them. Every day you gotta do them, feed, water, collect eggs, you know, get rid of waste, make sure there's bedding, make sure everybody's taken care of. Uh, and you gotta do that every day, day after day, kind of at the same time, you can't mix it up. The animals need that kind of regularity and, and focus. And there's a certain drudgery to it. It gets boring after a while. You just have to do it no matter what. And this pandemic is like that. People are trapped in home. They can't go any place. They can't get out. There's no uh, adventure. There's no difference. Every day is the same as every other day. Tuesday is just like Saturday. And it's tough. It's really hard for some people. They're really struggling with that kind of monotony. And um, in a way, it's kind of working like a fast. You know, when you fast, it, um, the, the, the absence of something makes you realize what you've been depending on uh, for meaning and significance. And in, in this way, this pandemic is making us realize for some folks how much they depended on uh, getting out in, in life, uh, finding meaning by being busy and doing things and having a life full of kind of action and motion. And suddenly not having that is really hard. So. I want you to know that the gospel says that we need nothing to find meaning except Christ alone. And so if you've been struggling with um, kind of uh, a lack of meaning, maybe depression because you can't get out, you're missing some of that human contact, I want you to know that God is all you need. And if you will trust him to be your sole source of meaning and purpose, your life will have a richness and a depth and a beauty to it that you can't possibly imagine. That's my thought for the day.